Qatar funds uh, terrorism worldwide. It is a sponsor of Boko Haram. It's a sponsor of uh, it's a sponsor of uh, Hamas. It's a sponsor of the Muslim Brotherhood. There's articles written that it was funding Morsi in Egypt. It also, you know, houses uh, Khalid Mashal, the head of Hamas, and it's using Boko Haram as an Arab slave proxy, as they did before. They're they're basically kidnapping women and they're selling them as slaves, w slave wives for other Muslims. This happened years and years ago, um, hundreds of years ago. Inside of uh, Africa, there was a Arab slave trade where 18 million people were taken and used as slaves. They were. They were their women were taken and used as sex slaves. It's happening again, and it's being funded by Qatar. So where are you here? Where, where are you? And, and uh, here in De Beverly Hills, where are you holding this thing? This is at the Qatari consulate. Notice they don't put a flag up. They don't want anyone to know that they are here. It's very, very shady of them. The fact of the matter is that they don't want people to come protest them because when it comes down to it, they don't want attention on them because they don't want the world to see that they are one of the numbers, I think it's number two, besides Iran, uh, funders of terrorist proxies all over the globe. And what do you hope to achieve here today? I hope to achieve to raise awareness that Qatar is one of the major sponsors of terrorism. I want to achieve to show that Khalid Mashal He's living in Qatar in the lap of luxury while his people are dying in Gaza. I want to show that Omar Barghouti is a Qatari citizen, okay? The guy who runs BDS is a Qatari citizen who came to Israel to learn and then turned on Israel and decided to uh, start BDS. Also, his cousin Marwan Barghouti is in jail in Israel for being the bomb maker of the first intifada. Who can hear you out here today? <clears throat> the whole world. I mean, I'm standing here yelling, screaming. You know, life is what the price is when you fund Hamas and ISIS. I mean, somebody needs to be screaming out because there are Assyrians and Chaldeans being murdered by ISIS. There are innocent Jews being killed by Hamas. There are innocent Nigerians being taken into slavery by Boko Haram. Okay, and then what, you have what them- What faith are the Nigerians? The Nigerians are mostly Christians. Most of them are the Igbo and Yoruba people. Um, then if you look in uh, you know, the Middle East, ISIS is, is killing Christians and Zoroastrians and Kurds who are Muslims themselves. What's the connection between uh, Qatar and Al Jazeera? Qatar, I believe, finances and owns Al Jazeera TV. Okay, so any of the things coming out of there is just is just fruitful of the propaganda that is being spat against Israel and everybody else. It is pro-Islamic Jihad, and that's how they want to keep it. You mean uh, what we see on Al Jazeera is not independent and unbiased? Oh, of course it's not independent and unbiased. Every, every news media organization is is being paid by is being paid for by someone which means it's not completely like by it's not completely uh, it okay. has a bias to it and um, when you look at it you're dealing with like the liberal media you know is funded by liberals you know the right-wing media is funded by right-wingers all right the Islamic Jihad media has to be like funded by Islamic jihadis 